Hello everyone, I'm here again making another video and this one's going to be pretty short because the, I mean the issue that I'm going to tackle is a very simple one. Um, it's probably the first thing you want to upgrade on your printer since it's the easiest and cheapest I would say. So what we're going to be upgrading is this X-axis uh, pulley tensioner. So basically the original piece doesn't have any bearings in it and what happens is after a while the pulley just wears into the plastic housing and then just breaks so I'll show you I don't really have the original part because that broke like eight months ago but I'll show you how to take it apart and everything and just I'll show you what the difference is in this so this is a 3d printed part which is also also great and the bearings that come with it, you can find them at any RC shop or bearing shop. So the two things you'll need for this video, I'm going to have it on screen, the first one, is the X-axis belt tensioner with bearings. I'm going to link in the description to this item that you can 3D print, and I'm also going to link the person who made it, because they are just amazing. The fact that they've come up and made this thing, it's like, it's a lifesaver for sure. Uh, and also in the description of this link, there is the bearings that you need. Now you need two bearings, which are tiny as hell and cheap. They should be cheap. I'm, I don't know how much my ones were, but it was probably like $6 for both. Alright, let's get into the video. Let me go ahead and start. What you want to do is you want to undo this, I think from memory there's a bolt which one is the bolt oh yeah my bolt is missing whoops uh, so basically the reason why my bolt is missing is because uh, I sanded this 3d printed part down to be very tight and I, I noticed I didn't need the bolt but it's always best to have the bolt so what you want to do is push this x-axis pulley as far as you can inwards And then you want to grab the belt and kind of pull it out like that okay so your original part see these little bearings they're not going to be on the original part so let me go ahead and take them off without losing them because I've lost I've lost these in the past <laughs> okay so here we go here's what your original one is going to look like let me see if I can see that on the camera Here's your original pulley when you pull it out. I hope that's focused. And this piece will be black, I think, from the factory. Once we take the belt off, this just slides out. Right. So, this is a 3D printed part that you want. Right. So, the original is black. Now you can see I've got some cracking. The original is black, and what it has is it has just like a slit for the pulley to go in just like that except this new this new upgraded piece has as you can see let me see if you can see that see this new upgraded piece has these pretty big channels for the pulley and what this does is these channels accommodate for this space for these bearings once you pull that out what happens is you've got a spring that's in there that's basically on that the spring fits on that thing inside that you see there so the original piece has very small channels on the inside which are like kind of like channels for the pulley so as you can see this one has pretty big channels and the main reason to replace this is because the pulley on its own is just that it's just metal on plastic and it's turn it's spinning because this belt is going back and forth as you print and after a while this metal on the original pulley just eats into this housing and breaks and there's nothing you have to modify all you do is you take the pulley out you let me just do this so you can see you click the bearings onto the pulley Make sure you don't lose the bearings because they're so easy to lose. So you click the bearings onto the pulley. 
right? There you go. And this is all original, so you don't have to replace anything. And then you 3D print this part. Now what I'll do is I'll put a photo and a link to where you can find this part. What you do then is you put, make sure to line your belt back up. Once you put these bearings on the pulley, put the pulley back on like that. Okay, you can, you, that's probably not the step you want to do first. Okay, so take the spring. Sorry, you might have to sand these rails as well. Because uh, I printed this part as this thing was broken. Because, I mean, that's just going to happen sometimes. So I printed this while the um, this other housing was broken. It luckily printed it. Uh, so it was a bit, like, rough. I had to file it down. So anyway, take the spring put it back the way it was on the other housing the original one there we go make sure it's all the way at the end now you want to take this slide it back in through this side now you're gonna have some tension because of the spring making sure it's kind of uh, going back in smooth mine's pretty pretty rough but it's alright okay so what what you want to do is you want to grab the pulley like that one sec let me show a bit better just like that except a lot tighter so it doesn't come off okay so now you push this part in as far as you can and then as you can see let me try and make this as visible as possible the pulley is just going to want to fall in just like that nice and gently and because you're pushing that in now as soon as I let it go it's gonna tension that belt with the spring just like that alright so now instead of like instead of the pulley being going on plastic on plastic it's now got a bearing in there which means that bearing is just gonna completely stop any kind of wear that you will get on the x-axis and I have no idea how long I've I've printed with that, but I'm pretty sure that that thing broke around 300 hours in. And I can just show you my screen here for a second. So I'm currently with this printer. That is the printing that I've done on this printer. So this broke 300 hours in. And ever since then, it's been good. 